in day wo hello keduki mary how are you doing adima i am doing fine hopefully you're doing well as well and thanks for joining me as you have uh, all along in this about a year and three or four month journey in learning my ancestral tongue the Igbo language of nigeria and as i'm doing i'm doing my weekly practice and encourage you to say these words along with me um, if you're trying to learn it as well what i've learned is that not only do you have to teach your mind to speak the Igbo, Igbo language but you also have to train your your tongue in order to uh, get the words out correctly as well so just do my quick 10 uh, words for the week and we'll move on from there and the word for 10 is eerie in the Igbo language of nigeria all right, again, just show you my picture really quickly, just so you know who, what I look like as I go through the video, because you can't see another angle other than the screen that I'm projecting um, at this time. So that was me again coming back from my 2019 trip from Uyo in Akwaibom State, Nigeria. And I always bring back clothing with me. I'm always blessed to go to the market and, and bring a few outfits back accordingly. And I want to do that every time. I really love the fashion that's over there and how things are made directly from the cloth and tailored directly for, uh, for you as well. Let's get to it. The uh, 10 words of the day and really of the week, and uh, we'll, we'll call the day at the point. Uh, again, we're talking about arts and entertainment. Inkana in Toronto is arts and entertainment. And the first word today is for the word jingle. It's Jingolo for jingle. Jingolo for jingle. And remember in Igbo, the characters have a little different pronunciation than you have in English. The, for instance, the I character in English, that would be an actual E sound. And the U characters with the dot underneath it gives it a different pronunciation. We call those diacritics. So that U makes an O sound. So that's why you hear me saying jingolo. Three syllables, jingolo for jingle. So again, one more time, jingolo, jingle. Okay, lyrics, like lyrics to a song. The word for a song is very similar to the English word lyrics, but it's lirikisi. Lirikisi is lyrics. So again, lirikisi, lyrics. Again, the only special characters that are different is that the eyes make an E sound in English. So again, it's lirikisi, lyrics, lirikisi, lyrics. All right, microphone. Uh, again, you're gonna have some special pronunciations. The eyes make that E sound. The E's make an A sound. And so I wanna make sure that doesn't throw you off a little bit, but it takes two words to make microphone. And this is one just like in English where you have like a contraction. When you bring two words together, you drop one of the vowels and you pronounce it after that. So the O is what you would drop in a microphone. So you would say, Igweku for microphone. Again, Igweku microphone. And it does come from two root words. Igwe means machine in Igbo. And Oku means talking. So you're basically saying a machine for talking. And in English, that means microphone. So it's igweku microphone. One more time. Igweku microphone. Okay, motion picture. Again, we're talking about arts and entertainment. So this fits in the category also. So motion picture, uh, again, in Igbo, Igbo is like the Spanish language and most languages on the planet. You actually say it the opposite the way that we would say it in uh, English. So instead of saying motion picture, you're really saying picture motion as you put the subject first in Igbo, just like in Spanish and other languages. So uh, what you would say is photo mayari for motion picture. So I say it slowly. Photo is photo or picture, and mayari means motion. So you're saying picture in motion which in English is motion picture. So again, it's photo mayari motion picture. So that one eye character at the very end with the dot underneath, that's again as a diacritic. 
and it gives a real sharp E sound. So that's why you hear me saying photo mayari motion picture. Okay, movie director. Um, typically, what I'm finding in my studies, when you refer to a person first, you use the word onye, onye. That's that O with the dot underneath that diacritic, so it gives you an O, uh, O uh sound like auto. So onye, onye. And then after, just like I was saying with the other words in Igbo, you describe what type of person you're talking about. So first you tell the people with a word onye that you're talking about a person, and then you describe what type of person you're talking about. So it becomes onye induzi inkiri. So again, those eyes make that E sound. So onye induzi inkiri is movie director. And how that breaks down, onye means a person. Induzi, the second word, means that is directing, and inkiri means movie. So you literally just said the person that's directing the movie, which in short in English is movie director. So one more time, and then we'll move on to the next word. Again, it's to say movie director, you would say onye induzi inkiri movie director. Okay, script. That which you, the actors read and practice prior to going into the production of a movie or a play is the script. Uh, so everybody's words that they must say. So to say script, you would say, e de re de intuziaka inkiri script. So say it slowly. E de re de, the first word means the text. Intuziaka means instructing or the text that is the instruction for what? In Kiri, which is the last word, the movie. So you basically just said the text instructing the movie or what you must read in order to act out the characters is a script. So again, all together is a de re de intuziaka in Kiri script. Museum is Mbari. Mbari Museum. Mbari Museum. Music is Egwu music. Egwu music. One more time. Egwu music. Uh, for painting, you would have Ese Rese painting. Ese Rese painting. And the last one would be picture. And to say picture, you're basically saying photo. So almost like English, photo. So again, one more time, photo for picture. Well, again, thank you. Thanks for joining. So again, to say thank you is emaila. Thank you for joining and um, you have a good day. Uh, to say uh, good night is kachifo. Have a good day. Bye-bye.